Hi everyone, we are Group 4 from Section 2. So today we'll be presenting the case studies of new media influence on politics, business and behaviour. So without further ado, let's start with our first case study on politics. Hello, it's Mohammed, and today I'm going to talk about how new media feed Birsui movement. Over the past century, social movements have played an important role in politics. They can influence the shape of laws, policies, and even political systems. The rise and development of social movements are inseparable from the intervention and shaping of new media. With the development of new media priorities to citizens, political participation have gradually been broken down. People would gather and organize the social movement online. What is Percy? It is a civil movement in Malaysia. Uh, consisting of 80 formal government organizations that called for reform of the country's electoral process to be free, clean, and fair. Percy was first launched in November 2006, with opposition political leaders and representatives from civil society. And there were five big rallies in total. The timeline of the five rallies. The first rally was in November in 2007. The second rally was in July in 2011. The third rally was in April 2012. And the fourth rally was in August 2015. The last rally was in November in 2016. The background of the Percy movement. First, electoral process is neither free nor fair. Malaysian's electoral process is neither free nor fair, and that it only benefits the PN.6. Long standing concerns are regularly expressed about a host of issues, including gerrymandering, inequal access to government controlled broadcast and print media, hostile voting, the failure to use indelible ink to impede fraud during voting irregularities with the registered voters rule and the impartiality of electoral commission AC. Second, chauvinist outburst from many delegates. The Omno General Assembly in 2006 and again in 2007 saw so chauvinist outburst from many delegates and the crazy kissing intakes of several leaders. Those displays telecasts live and tolerated by almost top leaders, revealed almost callous mood and aggressive intents. The opposition was trying to reform an alternative coalition to challenge PN's power. Anyone then could have cautioned the opposition politicians that their chance of success was remote, unable to hang together. The opposition parties had hanged separately and were voted by BN in 2004. How did the Percy movement get started online? In the late 1990s, the decision of Malaysian, Malaysia to invest heavily in broadband and digital technologies to drive foreign investment which opened up the internet to a generation of bloggers, activists, and citizen journalists. First, utilizing keywords and hashtags. To maximize visibility and virality of messages, activists made use of Twitter themes to snowball response, like why Percy hashtag for users to give their reasons for supporting Percy or to lobby local politicians with the, with the Tanya Najib hashtag, questioning the prime minister's commitment to reform tweets and response were witty and sarcastic, and at times highly emotional as people lashed out against each other. More than 70 Facebook groups have been created by 2015, plus blogs and YouTube, WhatsApp were used frequently thanks to the division effects of social media. 
the size of rallies has grown from 30,000 in 2007 to 200,000 in 2015. The Percy got official account on Twitter and Facebook. So far, it got 81k followers on Twitter. The account was created in April 2011. Facebook has 274,000 followers. It also has its own website called Global Percy. It is also a platform manually for overseas Malaysians. The organizers can provide the latest news and information about Malaysia, politics about Malaysia politics through these platforms to enable Malaysians around the world to participate in this social movement. The effects of new media on politics. The use of social media in Perse was its ability to clarify conflicting reports about the event. We believe that the interactivity and user-generated content of new media is a symbol of democratization and empowerment. New media is the most suitable platform to express public opinion because it makes every user free to publish content. In traditional media, media and audience are one-way interaction. To be more specific, post Persia, it was extremely difficult for traditional media or government agents to report mistruths and get away without the public knowing it. Where various media reported crowd turn out at between 20,000 and 50,000, the government estimate at 6,000 was obviously a gross underrepresentation, which aerial pictures again spread online were able to disprove. The same went for any high-handed police actions. Netizens uploaded and shared videos of the Tangshin Hospital incident of the hospital, which police have denied doing it. The Prime Minister also denied any violence perpetrated by the police. But photographers from both international media and rally participants showed otherwise. In the first Percy rally in 2007, the role of countering traditional media and government positions was played by news sites like Malaysia Kini. The difference in Percy 2.0 was that social media allowed proactive and participatory citizens to take on the role by sharing personal stories and videos instead. First, it increased the public's political and social consequences. The development of new media also allowed Perse rallies to publicize and draw the public's attention to national politics. People can understand today's political situation through more new media, hence it increased the public's political and social consequences. Second, it, it breaks down the parties between races. Marketing campaigns focused on shaping new discourses of identity and belonging were enabled through the Perse and Perse Stories hashtag, strengthening social ties between network citizens and helping to mobilize crowds in the hundreds and thousands at three rallies. Success was also counted by the diversity of publics mobilized. Scholars have described how the Perse Stories hashtag enabled digital stories to be uploaded, shared, and crowded by the hashtag, broken connections that bridge ethnic, class, and racial fractures, shaping new trans ethnic solidarities. Third, have a more fair election and government. The corruption was hotly debated on the internet. So, as the 1MDB incident continued, Najib finally concedes defeat and promised a peaceful handover of power after his general election defeat, marking the first party rotation in Malaysia. Following Parisian Nationals FACICO on May 12, 2018, Najib announced his registration as UMNO chairman and Parisian National chairman to show responsibility and UMNO Face Chairman Ahmad Zahid took over as UMNO Chairman. In the post, Persaira Malaysia has undergone political party rotation 
and Pakatan Harban changed its status from the opposition party to the ruling party. Now we will be talking about Facebook life changes business operation and income generation. Social media has revolutionized marketing enabling individuals and business to attract, convert and transform customers in a cost effective and productive way with over 3 billion users globally. The rise of social media is reflected by the fact that there were over millions of mobile users worldwide. However, business closed as a result of the pandemic's breakout, which is still ongoing and were compelled to drastically alter their business models or eliminate duties that would not contribute positively in the present environment. Social media is an ideal platform for better understanding how people interpret and deal with the new normal as it not just a source of information but also a means of sharing and reaching millions of people currently. There's a lack of direct interaction between sellers and consumers. In traditional e-commerce sales promotional strategies that relies on text, pictures and videos, the newly developed online live shopping has enabled direct interactive connection between sellers and customers as well as dynamic product display resulting in a shift in consumer behavior. So how it started? Facebook released a new feature in August 2015, which is the ability to broadcast live video streams known as Facebook Live. It is available on mobile and desktop computers. Besides, Facebook Live has become one of the most critical business prospects at the future development platforms for e-commerce to promote products during live streaming. The effectiveness of the live stream shopping approach in generating sales has been proven. During live streams, the streamer can demonstrate the use of a product in the real time and viewers can ask questions in the chat box. Therefore, live stream commerce can be enable social interactions, online transactions and purchasing more engaging. Now we move on to the comparison between traditional e-commerce and live streams. Traditional e-commerce can't connect with sellers in real time to get dynamic product information, which raises the transaction risk and makes it difficult to create trust. Live streaming commerce, on the other hand, can precisely overcome the difficulties of information opacity in traditional e-commerce through real time visual communication. Live streaming commerce's unique advantages of real time engagement, visualization, and personalized service have become the distinguishing features that set in a part of traditional e-commerce. Since the nature of live streaming commerce has more dynamic and engaging than traditional e-commerce, it's especially vital to explore customer behavior from the viewpoint of interpersonal interactions. Facebook Live is the newest platform for businesses to interact with their consumers directly. Nowadays, there are several recent trends and themes that emerge including breaking news, events, journalists' lives, weather broadcasts, etc. For instance, local journalists utilize Facebook Live to interact directly with their audience. As you can see, Kurt Williams, a news anchor within North Carolina, has experimented with live broadcasting from the behind the scenes of his newscasts even addressing questions on Facebook during commercial breaks. Now we move on to the statistic of Facebook Live. According to a 2018 State of Social Survey, 96% of business actively use Facebook. Furthermore, video is the most common type of content on social media as the most popular platform for sharing video content is Facebook. It stands 81.2%. In 2018, 42.7% of businesses broadcasted a live video representing 38% increase in business usage live video. All these statistics suggest that organizations are gradually integrating live video into their marketing strategies. Fun fact, according to Facebook Live usage data, Facebook Live videos have higher engagement rate than conventional videos as people are more likely to share, react, comment, and watch live videos resulting in increased traffic. 
Next, we will be talking about the advantage of Facebook Live. Compared to reading blogs, ads, or magazines on product recommendations, Facebook Live Shopping provided a more engaging, persuasive, and low-commitment alternative to consumers, counteracting audiences' low attention span when it comes to less engaging content. It is more preferred marketing strategy compared to direct sales face-to-face -face because of anonymity and absence of need to react, uh, which business builds brands' likability and awareness. Business operating through Facebook Live, shopping allows real-time direct conversation between business vendors and consumers to happen. Furthermore, Facebook Live can help to foster brand loyalty and customer relationships too. Through real-time buying, buyers are also usually urged to buy impulsively. Through Facebook Live, you can also reach a massive audience at no extra cost because the platform is free. At the same time, it is also reduced cost outsourcing a third-party company to organize physical event or campaigns. On the other hand, there is also the disadvantage of using Facebook Live. Scammers take advantage of the built and trust customers' unfairity to technology insisting on communicating or receiving payments via transfer or Venmo payment outside of Facebook's official channels where their correspondence can't be monitored. Another common scam practice is selling counterfeit items. The increase of scams and frauds happening make Facebook Live shopping consumers feel very and trust Facebook Live shopping less. This impacts small businesses or industry where there have been lots of scam cases such as luxury brand dealers or procurement causing sales to decrease. Consumer may have generalized impression towards the whole business industry and have low confidence towards purchasing through Facebook Live in fear of falling victim. Moreover, streamers may accidentally release too much information that goes against the business's policy or project plans or end up conveying offensive or false opinions that negatively impacts the business follower base. It might turn into a PR crisis instead. When counterfeiters uh, sell a product that looks like the same as the original but get exposed, the authentic brand will more or less bear damage due to generalized impressions and lack of understanding towards the incident. Last but not least, let's take a look at Netflix and its effect on adolescents or students. In recent years, the way people consume media has changed dramatically. Viewers are shifting their attention away from traditional broadcast networks and towards online video consumption. Unlike the traditional way, online consumption mediums have given viewers greater power since they may now set their own viewing schedules and choose their desired content via on-demand programs. One of the most popular online streaming platform services used all around the world that offers this new pattern of media consumption is none other than Netflix. With 240 million paid subscribers and students making up a majority of that number, Netflix is viewed as the newer generation's television. The accessibility and convenience offered by this popular online streaming platform have made it easy to develop a Netflix addiction. After finishing an episode of a show on Netflix, it is so simple to proceed to the next episode with just a click of a button. Some people even have their Netflix set to autoplay, which automatically skips to the next episode when the previous one ends. People frequently find it difficult to watch just one episode of a show because they are left wanting to know what happens next. And without knowing it, hours have passed and you have already consumed a whole season worth of episodes. This phenomenon is called binge watching. The Digital Democracy Survey defines binge-watching as watching three or more episodes of a TV series in one sitting. It was also reported that 68% of students binge-watch shows on Netflix, while 11% binge-watch TV marathons. While binge-watching Netflix can be a fun form of entertainment, but it can definitely be detrimental to the overall well-being of a person, as it tends to be addictive. Netflix was first founded in August of 1997 by two serial entrepreneurs, Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph. The company originated in Scotts Valley, California, and is now the world's most successful streaming service. Initially, Netflix launched both DVD 
rental and sales services in 1998, but the sales were phased out within a year to focus on the DVD rental business. Hence, it became purely a movie rental service or also known as a rent-by-mail DVD service. Upon, tr upon tremendous expansion, Netflix transitioned to a subscriber-based model. Then in 2016, Netflix has successfully expanded to another 130 countries, bringing its world's total coverage to 190. And it also offers programming in 21 languages. It is known for its wide range of TV shows, films, documentary, original content, and more. Also, Netflix's commercial-free on-demand format is designed for binge-watching. Thus, it is indisputable that the history of Netflix has been fascinating and its services have grown so rapidly. It is also obvious that Netflix has become an increasingly necessity among students who have made Netflix to be their drug of choice. One of the main reasons why binge-watching Netflix is so irresistible to students is because it provides the feeling of happiness to them. Many students frequently spend time in front of a television or computer to watch Netflix as leisure time activities. This helps them to relax when school becomes stressful. Moreover, students often become fans of particular shows and these shows provide interesting topics of discussion within their circle of friends, ensuring that they do not feel left out. Therefore, Netflix has become one of the most popular streaming services among students, which might cause addiction if they do not control. From its beginning as a DVD by mail service, Netflix has grown into one of the most used video streaming services in the world. Netflix's subscriber growth rate has accelerated since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2019. Almost 16 million people created accounts in the first three months of the year, which is almost double the new sign-ups it saw in the final months of 2019. So many people were bored of being stuck more than usual at home. Not to mention, many businesses, restaurants, and destinations shut down, so people were hungry for entertainment. Ever since the popularization of Netflix, users nowadays, especially Gen Y, who are currently aged 18 to 34, and Gen Z, the young people born after 2005, are practicing new television viewing styles. With its long tail inventory of TV shows and movies, commercial-free viewing experience, and post-play seamless episode delivery, Netflix is changing viewers' expectations concerning what, how, and when they watch TV. As streaming service is becoming more culturally permissible, viewers nowadays, no matter young or old, are experimenting with and enjoying binge-watching, chiefly on Netflix. Binge-watching and Netflix are becoming synonymous, especially for young users. When all episodes of a season were released simultaneously, marathon spectatorship is not only encouraged, but is the default consumption mode in Netflix. As a result, it is not surprising when viewers are watching more television, including in larger doses at a time. Netflix effect is a phenomenon of individuals losing track of time while watching series television shows. Users nowadays can stream any content that they want to see instantly using their devices anywhere and at any time. This has become a way for people to relieve stress and escape from reality after a stressful day at work or at school. However, with this streaming method, users will quickly become addicted to watching shows since Netflix is releasing the whole seasons and series at once. This eventually leads them to binge watch. This is because finishing a number of episodes or even a whole series allows users to feel as if they have completed a task, which causes a surge of dopamine to release in their brains. This dopamine then encourages users to keep watching more. Netflix has also become a significant source of addiction within students as they cannot get enough of binge watching. When students are addicted to Netflix, they will spend more time binge watching and start skipping classes, neglecting exam preparations and failing to complete assignments on time. As a result, their assessment grades will become lower and the risk of being expelled increases. Naturally, the urge to study decreases dramatically and it will continue until the addiction is being put to an end. Besides study responsibilities, students will also neglect their social connection. They will start to refuse to get out of their comfort zone and socialize with others. As a result, they do not feel the need to build relationships and communication skills becomes bad. The inability to be an active member of the community leads to social deprivation. This situation is unnatural because it may significantly disrupt the psychology well-being of humans. In addition, binge-watching on Netflix does not only affect the academic life of students, but also their physical and mental health. 
With so many shows airing every day, students easily get hooked to it one after another in one sitting. Health experts warn that because people are replacing time that was once spent exercising, socializing, and sleeping by binge watching, they are increasing their risk for many serious health conditions. This includes cardiovascular disease, depression, sleep problems, and behavioral addictions. Also, those who are addicted to Netflix tend to sleep at odd hours. According to studies, lack of sleep disrupts their regular functioning and diverts their attention away from study and other daily activities. This eventually leads to insomnia, loss of appetite, and an inability to cope with their daily tasks. Therefore, the addiction to binge watch on Netflix has a significant impact on the lives of students as it steals the important time meant for studies and health. Students should have better time management when using Netflix in order to have more time to work on their grades, health, and get a good night's sleep. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in and stay safe.